Good morning once again, my friends. It is time for the Morning Mindset edition of the Live, Build, Change podcast, and I am Carrie Green. And I'm a little bit excited today to begin a new short little series looking at some of the events and responses of one of the most notable, most famous, so to speak, biblical characters. And that is the person of Moses. In the book of Exodus, in the book of Numbers, we're told the story of Moses in his use by God to deliver the people of Israel from captivity in Egypt. And if you don't remember the context of how they got to Egypt in the first place, you just have to read right at the end of the book of Genesis. And it's the story of Jacob and his 12 sons. And one of those sons being Joseph. Joseph was hated by his brothers and was sold into slavery. And that slave caravan took him into Egypt. And so the story progresses. Joseph's whole family comes to Egypt in time and they remain there all the way up until the time of Moses, which was around 400 years. And so God's people had been in captivity. Moses' family was one of those families there in captivity working as slaves in the Egyptian economy. And it says in Exodus chapter 1, verse number 6, Then Joseph died and all his brothers and all that generation. But the people of Israel were fruitful and increased greatly. They multiplied and grew exceedingly strong so that the land was filled with them. And a new king arose over Egypt who did not know Joseph. And he said to his people, Behold, the people of Israel are too many and too mighty for us. Come, let's deal shrewdly with them, lest they multiply. And if war breaks out, they will join our enemies and fight against us and escape from the land. And so you see, this Pharaoh, this king, was motivated by fear of the people of Israel. And he was contriving a plan here to put them into slavery. And that's exactly where we find the people of Israel when Moses was born. And Moses was born into a very dangerous time because this particular Pharaoh was so afraid. He not only made the people work as slaves, but he also wanted to do some population control within the people of Israel. And so he commands the midwives to kill every boy that's born. And the midwives, they're shrewd. They know it's a wrong thing and they make up an excuse and get out of it. And so Pharaoh takes it into his own hands and he tells the people of Egypt, anytime that you see a young Hebrew boy born, you have my permission to throw him into the Nile River. But every daughter you should let live. And so you see what he's doing. He's trying to limit Israel's ability to be a power because all their fighting men would would no longer be available because they've been killed as infants. And that's the context into which Moses is born. And what we discover is that his parents are great people of faith. They're great people of courage. Because when Moses is born, I mean, think about it. They must have heard this command come from Pharaoh, this edict, while Moses' mother was still pregnant. What fear must have gripped their hearts? What anxiety trying to figure out exactly what they're going to do? And they chose they were not going to obey Pharaoh's edict. And they found a way to keep Moses quiet for three months. And then they placed him in this basket made of reeds. And they lined it with pitch so that it would hold wa- it would hold out the water. And they placed Moses in that basket. You can read about this in Exodus, Exodus chapter 2. Now that's all setting the stage. I want you to think in your own life right now. What is the circumstance in which you find yourself? Is it a difficult one, an impossible one? Well, this story tells us you don't have to give in to the fear. You don't have to be anxious. You can take faithful action that can help your circumstance. And tomorrow, we're going to see exactly what these faithful, courageous parents did to stand for the sake of God's honor and against the evil that was being planned around them. 